It's the 2K Sports Pregame Show. Welcome to 2K Sports, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson, sitting alongside the big diesel, Shaquille O'Neal, and the prop plane, Kenny Smith. Tonight, we'll see the Oklahoma City Thunder playing against the Los Angeles Lakers. And for Los Angeles, coming into tonight, a couple of goals they have. Stay aggressive on both ends, but also play with efficiency. It's a delicate balance, but they know it's the key to playing their best ball. And would you believe it? Three-on-three -three basketball experiencing a renaissance. Summer Pro League, the games in Tokyo in 2020. Kenny, what do you think about all of this? Well, it fits my game. You know, you don't have to run. Stay in half court. Play mostly offense. That's why I like to play. Deep shots, work twice as much. Let me in! You know, we all grew up playing two-on-two, three-on-three. Actually, Ernie, some guys extending their careers by playing professional three-on-three -three in the summer. Who do you think we could beat if we were, we were going to play three-on-three -three and it was the three of all us? All the other networks. I don't want to say their name, but all of them. You know, we, what, what you would be our name? What you call them, PN? What would, what would our what name be? What you call be? them, C? Name our team be. Um, the three guys. No. What's Welcome to 2K Sports for another edition of NBA Basketball. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, and our sideline reporter is David Aldridge. The fans are making noise here at the Chesapeake Energy Arena. The Oklahoma City Thunder getting settled in. Don't you open up that window. Pivot men tonight, Clark. What are some of the traditional things a center you think can still do to help his team win in this era of basketball? Well, I think there are a number of things. One, you both ends being a rim protector defensively and also quarterbacking the defense from behind the perimeter defenders is one way. And then on the offensive end, banging that glass, setting solid screens again, using size to take up space and put pressure on the defense. There will always be room for the big man in this game, though, don't you think? Oh, I don't think there's any question about it. His role changes, what all he does changes, but some of the um, basics never go out of style. All right, let's set the floor. Courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. So the Lakers five right now. Anthony Davis is out there with DeMarcus Cousins. Then it's LeBron James. Then it's Green. And it's Rondo in at the one spot. Puts it up off the inbound. James kicks to Davis. And Andre Robertson is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. Yeah, quick foul to pick up right away here in the first quarter. And the Lakers have possession. Now here's Rondo. Five on the clock. And there's another turnover by the Lakers. We're about one minute into the first. And now we'll go to David Aldridge. You had a chance to talk with Coach Billy Donovan. Well, Kevin, they need to get back on defense. He said the challenge of facing a fast break team like this is limiting transition points. And he told his players, if you're not running, you're sitting. Back to you, Kevin. Okay, David, much appreciated. Tipped away. Boy, incredible effort on defense. Refusing to give him an uncontested layup. Nothing easy. Green kicks the run. First quarter, about a minute and a half in. Here's Cousins. Back to James. Just three to shoot. The 19-foot shot. Paul grabs the board. Yeah, but the hand in the face. It's critical that you contest his shots every time down the floor. Roberts in the pass to Paul. Let's it go from 11. Rondo with the rebound. And it's Rondo with the ball for the Lakers. Looking for the first basket of the game. Here's Davis outside Rondo. 
Cousins finds Davis. And it's all evened up. And you know, gotta admire the patience inside from Davis. Outstanding at staying under control, taking his time, and burying the quality shot. Now, here is going up. Picks it out to Paul. Here's Gilgis Alexander, guarded by Green. By Jay, DeMarcus Cousins comes up with the rebound. And so Cousins will bring it up for the Lakers. And Chris Paul picks up the foul. That's his first foul. And here in the first, uh, about three minutes in. Loads it up for Davis. And you've got to do a better job of making sure the defender is it in your space? I mean, if you're going to pump bait, you've got to make sure he doesn't have a chance for the steal. And 6'7 swingman Andre Robertson out of the University of Colorado, one of the league's premier defensive specialists. And Kevin, there's a reason he started for most of his career, and it has nothing to do with his shooting. Now returning from that ruptured patella tendon, will he regain that elite defensive form? Only time will tell. First free throw is good. He makes one of two that time. Well, this is something that Kobe has said in the past with the Lakers organization. It is championship or bust. Well, I think you need that type of culture and mentality to have a chance to win championships. I believe the Lakers have done a good job of maintaining that mentality throughout the years. Colinari wide open. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. Really just struggling here in the first few minutes. Five attempts with only one fall. Green, no luck. The Thunder with the lead. Inside, it's stolen by Green. Pass to Cousins, dishes it to LeBron. Five to shoot, kicks to Davis. Cousins trying to free himself up. No luck that time in the shot that would have put them on top. The Thunder have gone just one for five from the field to start the quarter. This is it to go and up. And that one, good. Rondo with it. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Pass to LeBron. He feeds it to Cousins. Here's Gilgis Alexander. He's covered by Rondo. James kicks to Green. And he gets it to go. Hitting off the back of the rim. Green's got his first points of the game. And I'll tell you what, guys, I think that's the best part of James' game. And he's got a lot of good parts, but his vision is otherworldly. To the wing right side. Back to Gallinari. It's a nice passing by Oklahoma City here. Just five to shoot. Paul cans the 12-footer. You know, I don't care how tight you play him. It's very hard to keep Paul from knocking that shot down. His in-between game is lethal. Now here's LeBron. And it's good coming on the assist by Rajon Rondo. I tell you what, it's, it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this seat. For Oklahoma City, they've gone 3-7 of seven from the field since we've gotten underway. And there's the pass to Robertson. To the inside, Rondo passes to Davis. 
Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Davis is really the total package. A mobile, sharp shooting big guy who can score from everywhere. Lakers shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. Yeah, last season, around 71% of the free throws made. And you know what? That has to be a point of emphasis this year. Shooting two. He misses the free throw. And it's tied up with that one. And it's Paul with the ball for Oklahoma City. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Out to the right wing. Passes it to Paul. Over Rondo. And Oklahoma City again with the bucket. Because he's put in the work, in the quietness and solitude of the gym, heavy defensive pressure doesn't bother that shot. Rondo scanning the floor. Down low. It's tipped and taken away by Paul. And now, here's Gilgis Alexander, the fast break chance. And the rejection by Cousins. Gallinari up top. Paul against Rondo. Four on the shot clock. Paul with the bucket. Paul's got six. Lakers trail by four. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. Clark agility is such an important thing for players to have, obviously. When you look at the offensive end, knowing that agility has that uh, upper value, who are some of the more elusive players you see in the game now? Man, I don't think there's any more elusive player in the game than Steph Curry. I tell you, he's not the most athletic. He's not the fastest, but he is the slipperiest guy. Mm -hmm try to keep a handle. His ball handling, his shot making, his change of pace. I throw Kyrie Irving in there as well. Kimball Walker, uh, diminutive in size, but boy, is he hard to keep corralled. Um, and Lou Williams, one of my favorites. One of the great scorers, maybe one of the greatest scorers ever, under six feet two in the league. Some terrific names there. Noel's checked in for Adams. Muscala comes in for Gallinari. Terrence Ferguson's checked in for Robertson. And Dennis Schroeder subbed in for Gilgis Alexander. Big group substitution here for the Lakers. JaVale McGee's checked in for Cousins. Kyle Kuzma comes in for Anthony Davis. Avery Bradley, he's checked in for Danny Green. And Quinn Cook subbed in for Rajon Rondo. Just a little confusion among the D as to who was supposed to be on it. to McGee he's looking for LeBron and finds him and it's good with time running down on the shot clock man you got to respect and appreciate how polished LeBron is inside I mean he really excels at creating opportunities for himself close to the rim here's Ferguson Oklahoma City moving the ball around the shot's good from Paul against length he does a nice job of creating just enough separation yeah he's so creative with the ball and his ability to shake free from bigger guys to knock down those triples boy that's a thing of beauty there and there it is for us and that's now six points for lebron yeah i like how james takes it to the defense even if they're all over him he just muscles it past them. 
inside and slam dunk by Noel. Skying towards the hoop and decimating the defense with that ridiculous alley-oop dunk. Go ahead, Noel. And that Unleashed Chaos replay presented by Under Armour. Cover Havoc giving us a chance to relive that exciting play. Hey, and when guys at this level are that close to the basket, they ain't missing. I mean, especially when there's no defense in the neighborhood. Ferguson kicks to Paul. Shoots over Bradley. Will not go. This is off the front iron. Lakers trail by six. And taken away by Paul. Oh, and here comes Schroeder all alone. Throws down the breakaway jam. Whenever CP3 gets his hands on the ball, you know he's going to turn it up court right away. He loves initiating the break. Lakers have gone 6 of 10 from the field in this ballgame. Here's the pass to Kuzma. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. Kuzma's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Ball finds Noel. Misses off the left iron. Boy, the defense had gone to sleep, so you got to knock that one down. And here's Bradley from three. Unable to get that one. So the Thunder will take it the other way. They hold the early advantage on the glass. Yeah, nothing major. Not a huge advantage, but certainly a good sign for them going forward. And it's Crook with the ball for the Los Angeles Lakers. They trail by seven. for the alley-oop, and it's McGee with the jam. And hard to decide which was better, the pass, the catch, or the slam. Well, there's no wrong answer. Sens <laughs> sensational alley-oop. Tell you what, you wouldn't know they're the team trailing when they're able to pull off plays like that. Defense has no answer for him. I mean, none. They look, he's been on fire. Cook looking it over. And it goes out of bounds. Uh, last touch by Paul. And Tavius Caldwell Pope, he's checked in for the Lakers. One twenty-two left to play in the first quarter. It's the Lakers now. Seven point differential. Six to shoot. A floater. It's blocked. And they've done a nice job controlling the defensive backboard to start this game. Not one second chance bucket allowed. That is finishing off good defense. Now here's Schroeder and slam dunk by Noel. And you know, Noel positions himself perfectly on these screens and capitalizes off these sets with a tenacity that is um, admirable. Here's Bradley, still looking for his first bucket in this one. Pass to Kuzma. Here is Cook. From deep. No good there. Now Oklahoma City takes it the other way. Ferguson, the pass to Paul. And it's blocked by Bradley. Here is Cook. He's guarded by Schroeder. Twelve seconds left in the first. Cook kicks to Caldwell Pope. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Caldwell Pope's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Oh, no one around him. And again, Oklahoma City with the triple. Okay, we got a nice little back and forth going here. Yeah, and I like it. I love seeing that. It's a lot of fun when that happens. These teams are going at each other from the outside. A big-time effort for Chris Paul, providing a lot of energy for the Oklahoma City Thunder. He totaled 14 points in the quarter. He's given them all the offense they need right now. We'll get right back to the action when we return.
Why you think they DeMarcus Cousins, a fiery disposition. Some wondered how he'd get along with fellow star Anthony Davis. Davis says it's been great. You know, I always hear that people hate playing with DeMarcus. I love playing with him, honestly. I don't see where that comes from. Maybe it's guards, I don't know. That's a big, I, I love playing with him. Well, if you want to win, you need all the help you can get. And they make a great one-two punch. I think their skill to score from outside enables them to coexist offensively. And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And a chance now to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Thunder. And it's been about their defense. They're playing with a frenetic pace, putting a lot of pressure on the ball handlers and forcing turnovers. They also came out of the locker room with their running shoes on. I mean, their transition game has been full throttle. Taking a look at Los Angeles. Inside, we've got Kuzma and McGee. Caldwell Pope out there with Cook. And it's Bradley in at the three. Cook, and it's blocked. Here's Ferguson, guarded by Bradley. Is it the ball? The 10 footer. All well Pope with some nice D. And he's just a tough defender. Good positioning to get after that shot. Did a good job guarding the mid range. Extended out nicely and definitely bothered the shot. And that one's good. Schroeder. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Lakers trail by 11. A minute and a half gone here in the second quarter. Cook the pass to Kuzma. They get it back. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. And the foul called on Nerlens Noel. That is his first foul of the game. On Ari, he's checked in for Chris Paul. And then for the Lakers, Anthony Davis, he's checked in for Avery Bradley. Arjan Rondo is subbed in for Cook. Here's Davis, and the shot goes down. Davis has got five now. Oklahoma City leading by nine. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter here. Pass to Ferguson. Lock at six. Back to Muscala. The pass to Ferguson. Target with his three. He hit one three in the first, but the well has been totally dry for him in the second. Rondo finds Caldwell Pope. Here's Davis. And misses it off the right side of the rim. And so it's Gallinari with it. He'll bring it up for Oklahoma City. Here's Schroeder. That's his fourth basket of the game, and he's only taken four shots off to a good start. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Timeout called the Lakers. Look, you had a terrific amateur career. You made NBA all-rookie first team. Can't exactly call you a late bloomer at all. You were really thriving. Yeah, I had a lot of great people around me, Kevin, from the time I started playing in middle school to high school, college, the pros. Actually, was fortunate. Herb Williams, a teammate of mine in college at Ohio State, was also with the Pacers when I got there. So that helped my transition immensely to have a friend, veteran guy in the league. He had been there a year before me break me in and then um, I had an opportunity to play a lot and show what I could do but I attribute it to good fortune favor and a lot of good people Adams, he's checked in for Noel. Robertson comes in for Muscala. And Gilgis Alexander is subbed in for Ferguson. DeMarcus Cousins, he's checked in for the Lakers. Green comes in for Kyle Kuzma. Now here's Rondo. He's still scoreless so far in this one. 
trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Green in the post. Misses in close. And I think all the credit goes to the defense there, Kevin. Exceptional job getting the shooter to rush that layup. Davis against Gallinari. Back to Robertson. And the dunk by Robertson. And can you always depend on him or what to lead you to the right place with that pass? Money. Outside Rondo. And Andre Robertson is going to pick up a foul. That's foul number two for him. And you know, that's a second foul early in this quarter. I think he's got to be much more cautious in how he defends now. And so it's the Lakers with it. They've only given up six here in this quarter. Loads it up for Davis. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. A great job preventing that ball from coming into the post. Might have been an easy two if the defense wasn't there. Gallinari against Cousins. And Davis sends it back. Boy, I tell you what, Davis uses his length so well. I mean, a defensive stalwart who holds his ground. And because of his timing and length and athleticism, he's an excellent shot blocker. Here is Rondo. Steven Adams making his last shot. It's stolen by Schroeder. And now the fast break. Schroeder with the ball. Here's Gilgis Alexander. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. Schroeder's got three assists now in this one. Lakers trail by 17. Rondo kicks to Davis. And they double up Davis. Back to Rondo. There's the dish to Davis. Shot clock at five. Here's Cousins. And again, no good by the Lakers. And as he squares up for mid-range, the defender right in his face. Yeah, I like the fact, Greg, that he crowded the shooter there, made him uncomfortable, got into his airspace a bit. It looked like he forced the shot. To the fair. And Los Angeles guys uh, shooting the ball at 42%. And the Lakers call time here. Yeah, and the amount of points they've given up here in the paint, that, that's what they got to talk about. Absolutely, Greg. I mean, they're getting crushed, killed, hammered, pulverized in the post. Stop the run. Outside for Rondo. Pass to Green. Now Davis. That one's all good. Now he's three for five from the field. And you can see the defense broke down there, allowing him to get all the way to the hoop. Gallinari outside. Over to the wing. Here's Gilgis Alexander, guarded by Green. Picks it out to Schroeder, takes the three. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Passes it to Caldwell Pope. Golinari with the rebound. And right play, wrong result on that one. Generally, you knock those down. Not much else you can do there. I mean, that's what you want. Too bad they weren't able to finish it off. And it's Davis with the ball for Los Angeles. They trail by 18. Cousins inside. Adams on him. 
Here's Gilgis Alexander. Got it. And he's now three for five from the field. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Now here's Rondo. No points in the game yet for him. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Yeah, and those illegal screens have, have really become a point of emphasis for the officials. And it seems like they've been more than willing to crack down on those. Makes it tough to get as physical as you'd like to out there. The Lakers making a switch here. James is checked in. Here's Robertson. They lead by 20. That's the most we've seen. Adams dishes to Gallinari. That one falls. And good passing, setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. Dime dropping delights is what I call it. I, that is a nice pass. I will give you that one. Yeah, he was on the money, that's no doubt. Los Angeles guys uh, shooting the ball at 42 percent. Rondo against Schroeder. Rondo passes to Green. Back to Rondo. Five on the clock. Here's James. Los Angeles with another miss. I think in that situation it was a nice try to create some space for himself with the fadeaway. Here kicks to Gallinari. Right wing. Here's Gilgis Alexander, guarded by Green. And he comes up with the deuce. Gilgis Alexander's got eight. You know, he's had better starts, obviously, but he's shaking it off here in the second. Now here's LeBron, guarded closer. To stop the run. It's not going to go for him. Some solid defense from Gallinari. Oklahoma City's gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. Schroeder kicks to Gallinari. Adams right side. And the rejection by Cousins. You just can't get those kinds of shots past Cousins. When he's in the area, he's really good at getting a hand on the ball. And the Thunder making a switch here. Paul's checked in. The Lakers also with a sub. Cook's checked in. So here's Gallinari. He has five. Just not there from a rhythm standpoint right now. It's really eluding him. Green kicks to LeBron. Floats it up for Davis. And started hot, and he's only gotten harder. And here are the Thunder now. 20 to 6 run. Pass to Adams. Alinari outside. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Now here's Paul. Defense is right there. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And you know, the one thing you don't want to do is put Chris Paul on the line. Selman. He's virtually automatic there. He does not Good. miss many from the strike. Oh, the Thunder have gone two for three at the foul line in this game. And a season ago, only converting at about a 72% clip from the line. That free throw, no good. And you know, with Paul, his competitive drive, really exceptional. He wants to be one of the all-time greats, and he's got a great winning mindset. Bradley's checked in for the Lakers. Good on the second free throw. And here's the Lakers. Got a piece of it. Cousins finds James. To the wing right side. Jacks up a three. And another three for the Lakers. Man, it's so good to see LeBron James rise up with confidence from deep. That's a part of his game that he continues to improve on. And it's actually become quite efficient. 
Now, here is Gallinari. He has five. And that one is hammered home. Turn that one. I mean, taking the hit and still able to get that one to go down. Incredible, incredible body control right there. Don't know how he was able to get that one to go, but it sure was a thing of beauty to watch. Catching up on the changes for Oklahoma City. Mike Muscala is checked in for Andre Robertson. And Ferguson subbed in for Gilgis Alexander. And the Lakers also making a change. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for DeMarcus Cousins. Yeah, a nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line. My kind of hoops. Straight ahead, playing downhill and physical. Now, here's Kuzma. Back to Cook. Pocket six. Let's it go. Golinari with the rebound. This is definitely a day he'd like to forget. He just hasn't had the energy or the intensity to get it done out there. He's still scoreless. The pass to Ferguson. He kicks it to Muscala. Over in the corner, Paul. From outside, off the mark. Well, it looks like he's cooled down a bit after hitting those two in the first quarter. Bradley, no one around him. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Adams has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Ball outside. It's a nice passing by Oklahoma City here. Here's Ferguson. Offensive rebound. Adams uses the glass to finish the layup. Adams has got four points this quarter indicative of what we've seen tonight one team being the aggressor the other failing to react yeah and you can tell they feel like they can get inside whenever they want to i mean it's been carte blanche full menu for them and the defense really not offering any resistance here is cook steve adams making his last shot here's james it falls for his fifth field goal tonight now shooting five for eight just a positive force right now for these guys. And though his team has fallen a bit short, it's not because of him. Now, here is going on. He's got eight. Over in the corner, Paul to the middle. Looking for Adams. He gets it there. He can't hit that time. A highlight reel play all the way. Just can't connect. I thought the pass looked good and just came up a skosh short, but I like the initiative and the intention. Back to Cook. Here's Davis. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. Davis has got 11 points. Man, he's got such a great touch and feel around the basket. He made that reverse look easy. Now Paul. He's got 15. Let's it go from deep, hands it from downtown. He's got 18. You know, the more these threes Paul hits, the more dangerous he becomes as a passer, and he hits his fair share of those threes. And so it's the Oklahoma City Thunder holding a very comfortable 25-point lead as the quarter comes to a close. They've had active hands and have forced a lot of turnovers in this one. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks a lot. LeBron, you're doing well, but the rest of the team's kind of struggling offensively. What are they doing to take everybody else away? Uh, you know, they're doing a good job of keeping the ball in front of them, just contesting our shots. Uh, you know, we got to continue to move the ball from one side to another and uh, get some good looks, but when we get them looks, we've got to knock them down as well. We'll see if they fall in the second half, LeBron. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, Hoop fans. NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. EJ, Shaq, Jet. Chris Paul had a huge first quarter. He had 18 points, three steals, and one assist. Kenny, let's get your take on Oklahoma City. What we saw in the first half is what we've seen from Chris Paul pretty much over a decade. He set the tempo, he was aggressive, but he stayed under control. 
his capacity to produce big numbers and remain that efficient, that's really great. Shaq, what was your takeaway on the Lakers? Not pretty to watch how they get torched in the low post, Ernie. When they were playing defense in the post, you know me, Ernie. Barbecue chicken alert. Barbecue chicken alert. This team is going to have to up the pressure. Play more physical in the second half. Start a fight. Throw some bowls. Let's go. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. Thanks goodbye, for folks. joining us. Third quarter, just about ready to begin. Welcome back to Oklahoma City, everyone. You can see Chesapeake Energy Arena there in the background as the cars stream down I-40. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. It's been a clinic by Chris Paul. Yeah, so far they haven't found an answer for him. A, a scoring machine here in that first half. Yeah, and it's been fun to watch, partner, because not only is he shooting a high percentage, a good percentage, he's also carrying the team. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. Chris Paul is out there with Gilgis Alexander. And then there's Steven Adams. Then there's Andre Robertson. And it's Gallinari in at the power forward position. That's the lineup out there for the Thunder. Yeah, starting the second half nicely there. Love those easy lay-ins to get things going. And how many more possessions like that would they love to get down the stretch? A bunch of them, I bet. this stage of his career James just seems ageless he continues to dominate night in and night out now here's Paul kicks to Adams back to Paul deflects the pass Alinari outside Roberts in the pass to Gallinari on deep and the Thunder another three And here's James, he'll bring it up for the Lakers. Fires the three. Doesn't go for him. And it's Oklahoma City the other way. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Yeah, not a great shot there, especially when you got a lockdown defender guarding. Agreed. I mean, when the defense is right there, you've got to move the ball, make the extra pass. That's a case of a poor shot selection. Now Gallinari following Chris Paul's three-point attempt. Gallinari, the bounce pass. Down to five on the shot clock. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Over Green. And James pulls it down. LeBron's got four rebounds in this game. Gallinari against Cousins. Count that one. Cousins has got his first points in this one. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Here's Gilgis Alexander. He's got eight. Gallinari attacking. Softly drops in the floater. Gallinari's got five points now this quarter resplendent release on the floater when executed correctly it's a beautiful effective shot rondo kicks to lebron and it's off the back rim no good and he's just a tough defender good positioning to get after that shot did a good job guarding the mid-range extended out nicely and definitely bothered the shot all oh, the officials are all over that one clearly a foul i mean didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle i mean you got to play without fouling. The Thunder have shot 67% from the line tonight, going for a six. Shooting two.
and he knocks down the first one. Alinari hits them both. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Out of bounds. Oklahoma City takes possession. And so it's Oklahoma City with it. Paul finds Gallinari. Here's Robertson. He's guarded by Cousins. Back to Gallinari. From deep three-point range, he scores a sixth bucket from the floor with that one. He's shot the ball 11 times. He's their go-to guy. When he shoots the ball like he has today, that's what the scoreboard usually looks like. Timeout called the Lakers. You look at Chris Paul. What a contribution. And he's getting to the rack all game, and if they can't do a better job of keeping him out of the paint, they're in for a long night. Oklahoma City. Merlin's Noel. And now we're three minutes into the third quarter of play. Outside Rondo. To halt the run. And LeBron with the basket. The assist by Rondo. 16 points for LeBron. Yeah, and Rondo just working the ball around there. He loves finding his teammates when they're open in the sweet spots. Against Rondo. Gallinari surveying the D. Down to five on the shot clock. Outside, green. Inside. And the rejection by Noel. You can just see Noel's eyes light up when a shooter attempts these shots. He's so forceful and determined in his denial. Then his shooters check in for Paul. The Lakers also making some changes. JaVale McGee comes in for Davis. And it's Kentavious Caldwell Pope in for Green. Lakers on D. Bounce pass from Noel. Gallinari outside. Six on the shot clock. Fires the three. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. LeBron's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. To the paint. It's tipped and stolen by Noel. Schroeder against Rondo. Over to the wing. Gallinari passes to Schroeder. Oats one up, and he sinks the layup. Schroeder's got 13. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for the Thunder. Boy, they're hounding, harassing effort at the defensive end. Very impressive. And they forced quite a few turnovers as a result. And the other thing they've done since the beginning of this game is score points off turnovers and in bunches. And he just big boyed it right there. The height advantage he's got down low, really difficult for them to defend. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. 
And I think they're winning because of him. I mean, he's hitting a lot of his shots right now. The Thunder have gone six of eight from the free throw line tonight. One shot. And it's Rondo with the ball for Los Angeles. Caldwell Pope outside. Goes up high for the two-handed dunk. So quick on these drives. As quick as a hiccup. Can't let him, Caldwell Pope, get into the lane like this. Schroeder kicks to Robertson. Back to Schroeder. Count that one as his seventh bank in eight attempts. A scorching 88%. The second he got around the pick and shook his man, it was straight to the bucket for the easy deuce. Very, very well done. Now here's James. He's got 16. Caldwell Pope outside. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. And that's his fourth, and no doubt he would have liked to have not gotten it to this suit. On the Thunder making a switch here. Muscala's checked in. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for DeMarcus Cousins. Here's Gilgis Alexander. He's got 11. Schroeder outside. Shoots over Kuzma. And it's Schroeder missing. For Los Angeles, they've gone 5 of 9 on field goal attempts since halftime. For three, Caldwell Pope hits the three-point bomb. Caldwell Pope's got five points now this quarter. I think Caldwell Pope has done a nice job developing into a legit deep ball threat. Got to give the defense credit. That was a great contest on a high percentage shot in the paint. Now here's Kuzma and stolen by Noel. Here's Gilgis Alexander. He drains the quick shot. Gilgis Alexander's got 13. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. Well, once they recognized the advantage they had inside, it made a lot of sense just to continue to attack that area. Kuzma passes to McGee. Just five on the clock. James, no good. One made three for him for the game. Does he focus closer in? Let's see. Schroeder against Rondo. Schroeder kicks to Muscala. Here's Gilgis Alexander. He's guarded by Caldwell Pope. The jump shot from the baseline is right on target. 15 points in the game. And the jump shot has been a dimension of this game where they've had a clear advantage. Greg, they keep pulling up and watching them go down. It's a really nice thing to see. Hard to do, but you've got to cut off every passing angle in that pick and roll. If you don't, Rondo's going to make you pay. Here's Gilgis Alexander. He's guarded by Caldwell Pope. Noel dishes to Schroeder. They get a hand on it. Rondo with the steal. The drive by James. Gets the front of the rim and out. And that's the battle. They haven't been winning today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. Yeah, no question about it. I mean, as they're looking to battle back, that's one of the key elements. You got to rebound. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. And the whistle blows. It's going to be a Michael Scott. That is his first foul of the game. Ferguson's checked in for Oklahoma City. Avery Bradley, he's checked in for Los Angeles. It's stolen. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Wasted no time on that shot, but it's off the mark. Lakers have gone 7 of 13 in the third quarter so far. Just above 50%. LeBron James throwing it down is a thing of beauty. An incredible athlete who makes dunking look as easy as it can look. Now here's Schroeder. 17 points in the game. Pass to Moscow. LeBron against Schroeder. 
Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Here's Kuzma, and Kuzma slams it in. You know, I think Kuzma's the kind of guy you've got to push out of the paint. When you don't, this is what happened. For kicks to Muscala. To the right side. Here's Gilgis Alexander. He's guarded by Caldwell Pope. McGee with the block. Just five to shoot. Here's Schroeder. Good for the basket, number nine. He's only missed two shots from the floor all night. And just enough wiggle room to get off his shot. Yeah, I like the quick release, Greg. He does a nice job getting it up quickly, especially when he's facing a bigger defender. The shot's good from Kuzma. The timing, the rhythm. Kuzma really does a nice job catching the defense off guard with those catch-and-shoot jumpers. Noel. And the shot falls short this time. You're not pretty. You just got to shake off a miss like that. Here's McGee and the slam dunk by McGee. And watch out. You don't bring the whole basket down on top of you, young fella. I don't think he ever wanted to let go of the rim. Well, you got to make that moment last. Enjoy it for as long as you can. Here's Gilgis Alexander. 15 points in the game. To Muscala. That's tipped. 135 left in the third. The offensive rebound. The pass to Kuzma. Caldwell Pope outside. Five on the clock. They shoot again. And it's good on the way up. Caldwell Pope's got 10 points. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. And it's Schroeder with the ball. He brings it up for Oklahoma City. And last season, not a beat miss for KCP. Even after switching teams, he played his same brand of defense. Unfortunately, the lack of bite shooting the ball stayed the same as well. That's an area he's got to improve. Now Schroeder, after the miss three from Contavious Caldwell Pope. That's what we're talking about in terms of the activity level defensively. You gotta protect the rim. Mm -hmm. Textbook defense all around. Nice job at contesting the shot without fouling. And that's how you do it. Well done. Los Angeles shooting their fourth attempt at the free throw line right here. A different look for Oklahoma City. Steven Adams comes in for Nerland's Noel. And Chris Pauls subbed in for Gilgis Alexander. The Lakers also making some changes. Davis has checked in for JaVale McGee. And Cook subbed in for Caldwell Pope. Free throw good, Kuzma. Kyle Kuzma is a guy who burst on the scene during his rookie year and is a fun player to watch. He's a guy that really has an outstanding all-around game. Now, here is Muscala. He's still scoreless so far in this one. From outside the arc, the shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. Schroeder's got his fourth assist in this one. Pass to Kuzma. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. It falls for his fifth field goal tonight. Now shooting five for eight. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, Greg, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Paul looking around. The mark. And so it's Oklahoma City holding a 22-point lead as the quarter wraps up. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And let's take this chance now to show you the State Farm assist of the game. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? And they'd love to see every possession in this way. True team basketball. And 
tonight as we head into the fourth. We'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. And on the court for the Lakers to start the fourth. They've got Kyle Kuzma. LeBron James is out there with Brent. Then it's Anthony Davis. And it's Green in at the small forward position. Two shots to the line up coming. Terrence first. Uh -oh. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Impeccable from the line since halftime. No misses yet. You can't do much better than that, guys. No good on the second free throw. And for the Lakers, their shooting has been great, up over 50%. In fact, 52%. And the whistle blows. It's going to be a Michael Scott. And that'll be his third foul so far. DeMarcus Cousins has checked in for Kyle Kuzma. So it's the Lakers now. On the wing, James, defended by Paul, and the shot goes down. 22 points for LeBron. They are just killing him on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. you got to play with some physicality in the paint. Good on the three-point shot. Oh, no, he's got 21. And you can see the play calling this half. Another one from distance. Well, they're dialed in. Locked and loaded from outside the arc. It's all about the triple so far. Now here's LeBron. And taken away by Paul. Alinari attacking. A few possessions into the fourth quarter. Just over a minute played. Bradley with some nice D. On the wing, James. Hands it from downtown. He's got 25. He had one in the first as well. He can be dangerous. Keep an eye on him. The Thunder leading by 21. Ball outside. And Muscala has it in the corner. Shot clock at five. Here's Ferguson. And James pulls it down. Not his best game, but they're still getting it done collectively. Brandley kicks to James. This is it to Cousins. Thunder with the rebound. Oh, great effort there. You defend the paint. Exactly. Can't play it any better than that, Greg. Andre Robertson, he's checked in for Muscala. Lakers trail by 21. Pass to James. Davis finds Cousins. And that one's good. And, you know, DeMarcus Cousins is used to playing through contact. I mean, he's excellent at overwhelming the defense with his strength. The pass to Ferguson. Pass to Gallinari. It's stolen by Davis. And here we go with Davis heading to the hoop. Oh! In the heat, the thunder and the lightning on that pound. How about the leaping ability of Davis? Easily gets off the ground to throw it down. And he's a quick jumper and decision maker. Here's Ferguson. Out to the right wing. Oklahoma City moving the ball around. Just five to shoot. And too long on the shot. And he's just a tough defender. Good positioning to get after that shot. Did a good job guarding the mid-range. Extended out nicely and definitely bothered the shot. Here's Robertson. Pass to Ferguson. Alinari outside. They need this one. Oklahoma City, the rebound. 
And it's out of bounds. Oklahoma City able to retain possession. And the Lakers making a change here. Rondo's checked in. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. And with the tide running against them, needs to talk it over with his guys. You're exactly right. Halting the other team's run momentarily. Let's see what he comes up with now, Greg. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. To end the drought. It's hauled in by LeBron. James has got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. And Davis gets it to go. And, and he's been the key for their offense with the way he shot the basketball. Uh, he's most certainly not the reason they're in a hole. I mean, his percentage has been outstanding. Now here's Paul. Ferguson kicks to Gallinari. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It's on DeMarcus Cousins. Gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. The first one falls. Yeah, a good job bringing that free throw percentage up here in the second half, doing a great job at the line. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Yeah, and their free throw shooting has really improved here in the second half. And here is LeBron. LeBron is doubled. He kicks it to Green. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. And Green is a world-class sniper, laser, an excellent shooter. Great at getting his puppy set on these shots from deep. Now, here is going up. Ball right side. Flanketed by the D. He fights to the rim for the layup. Paul's got 20. What a great play. Totally schooled the defender on that one. To the middle. It's stolen by Adams. And here's the fast break. Gallinari leading the way. Here's Paul. And the layup's good off the glass. 22 points for him. Watch out now. When Paul finds his rhythm, he's a creative scorer. He's comfortable pulling up from any area on the court. Rondo against Paul. Now here's Rondo. Kicks it to Davis. Six to shoot. Pass to LeBron. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. LeBron's got 16 points here in the second half. The Thunder leading by 16. Ball outside. Over to the wing. Oklahoma City moving it around. Gallinari against Cousins. It's Gallinari missing. Not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let, let's see if he can eventually get back on track. And he converts the layup. 
Gallinari's got seven points here in this quarter. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. LeBron kicks to run. Feeds it to Cousins. He dishes it to Davis. And Adams sends it back. And he gets it back. Basket good. The ball. Now the pass to Ferguson. To the left wing. Here's Robertson. Covered by LeBron. Alinari outside. Three-pointer. Trains it from beyond the arc. Gallinari's oh, no, got 28. And he's caught fire from long range here in the second half. Rondo kicks to LeBron. Back to Rondo. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. That one on Gallinari. And Rondo really more creative than given credit. Just has that knack for making defenders have to foul. This is the free throw. Engaged. Rondo is special. A, a triple-double threat who does a little bit of everything for his squad. Gilgis Alexander's checked in for Oklahoma City. Dennis Schroeder comes in for Chris Paul. So neither attempt will fall that time for him. And so it's Gallinari with it. He'll bring it up for the Oklahoma City Thunder. They have a 19-point lead. Rondo against Schroeder. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Puts it up from 15. That counts. He's put up 13 shots, and he's had eight of those go in. Obviously, a mix-up defensively on that possession. Outside Rondo passes it to Green. And there's the feed to LeBron. Green kicks to Rondo. To the inside. Here's Cousins. Here's Davis. That one good for two. And you can sense the urgency from them now. They were flat in that first half, but they've come out here in the second and been much more aggressive offensively. Oklahoma's at 18. Pass to Adams. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Cousins, and so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. JaVale McGee's checked in for Los Angeles. Two shots. Two shots. After making the first, he goes one for two. Lakers trail by 19. Here's Green. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. Green's got five points in the quarter. Boy, you got to love that assist by LeBron. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Back to Schroeder. Inside, and Adams with the slam. Chemistry at its best. An unreal alley -oop. The dunk, all of it. And it all had to be, Kevin, because that's not nearly as easy as they made it appear. Right on the bucket. Yeah, you got to be better defensively on Rondo there as he comes off that screen. Oklahoma City leading by 17. 
Here's Gilgis Alexander. This is to Schroeder. And the foul called on Danny Green. That's foul number two for him. Schroeder with the ball. He's picked up by LeBron. Schroeder passes to Robertson. He kicks to Gallinari. Five to shoot. Shoots over McGee. And it's Gallinari missing. And as he squares up for mid-range, the defender right in his face. Yeah, I like the fact, Greg, that he crowded the shooter there. Made him uncomfortable. Got into his airspace a bit. Looked like he forced the shot. Now, here is Gallinari. It's stolen by Rondo. And it's the Lakers on the break. Goes back up. And Davis leaves it in. Davis has got 11 here in this quarter alone. But just so resourceful as a player. Davis gets the job done inside in all sorts of ways. And that's one of them right there. Crashing the offensive glass. Getting that second chance bucket. Gallinari on the wing. He's guarded by Davis. And Gallinari kicks it over to Schroeder. Down to five on the shot clock. From the box 16. Shot clock reset for Oklahoma City. Take a break. Two shots. No good on the free throw. Okay. Lakers trail by 15. Yep, it counts. Davis has got 13 points here in the second half alone. And all of a sudden, things finally coming together for them. The deficit still large, but now not insurmountable. And Greg, that kind of deficit, I think they're going about it the right way. I mean, they've got to get aggressive on defense. They need stops. And then you got to take care of the basketball at the other end so you get a good shot every trip. Six on the shot clock. Robertson finds Gallinari. They can use a bucket. Head shot off. And the Lakers going the other way now. And there's no doubt about this one. Playing with a lot of confidence tonight. It's a statement victory for Oklahoma City. The coaching staff must be happy that they controlled their turnovers so well in this game. Excellent self-control and patience tonight. A very solid win indeed. And when you check out the box score, there were some great numbers for Dennis Schroeder. You can't look back at too many major moments in this game and not see his imprint put all over it. And so here is Oklahoma City after the basket by the Lakers. Gallinari against Davis. And it's Gallinari missing. You could tell he assumed he'd be able to beat the defensive coverage even though it was all over. I can't explain what happened there, Kevin. I mean, he had the layup. Looked like it was a simple play. Somehow the defense threw him off just enough to cause a miss. And giving the fans what they came to see, a, a spirited performance. Well, they've got to be pleased with the effort they've seen so far tonight. Everybody pitching in for what looks to be a solid W. Here's Schroeder. So no problem for Oklahoma City as they get the win. Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. And it makes a big difference. And once they started to really play in rhythm, you never felt like they had any doubts as to whether or not they were going to win. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Chris, big win tonight. What do you think was the biggest factor? I mean, I don't know. You know, it was just our defense. You know, obviously our offense fed off of it. Guys made open shots. But I think we really locked down defensively, and that's what we're trying to make sure is that we're a defensive team every night. Well, you were a defensive team tonight, Chris. Thanks for your time. Kevin? David, thank you as always. For Clark Kellogg, Craig Anthony, and David Aldridge, 
This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. So long.